However, welcome to another episode of my tutorial on Galaxy for Bioinformatics. In today's video, I am going to show you how to remove files from the Galaxy platform. And when I say remove, I mean permanently remove or delete files. Now, one of the reasons why some people would like to delete or some people remove files is to make sure that they don't exceed the quota that they have been given. Some will also remove it because they just don't want the files. All right. But they find a challenge to remove those files. Now, before we do the inside, let me just take you through the quota system. So on the Glassy platform, if you have logged in, look at the top right and you'll find your quota. So for me, it says using 20%. All right, so that means the quota that I have been given, I have used 20% of it. Now, if your quota is almost at the threshold, let's say 90% or 99%, you still want to delete files. So there's a way to delete files so that it's reflected in your quota. So that's what I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to demonstrate using this activity here. So there's a somatic variant activity I performed. By the way, this tutorial is available I mean the command line version, so you can check the description for that video. So I have some files generated here, and I would like to remove them. Okay, so I would like to remove the Pascal files. I have lots of Pascal files. So I have the raw reads. I also have the frame reads. So I would like to remove them. Let's just say I want to remove some. All right, that's how we do it. So if a beginner, you see this. You turn the delete button. Yes, it's a delete button. But let's just take a look at it. Let's just say I want to delete this one here. This number 13 here. I will just start with this one here. Now I will come to this one here. I will click on delete. It's gone. Right. But if I click on delete, it's gone. But you will see this delete icon here. So this shows you the files or data that you have deleted. So when you click it, all right, so you find them there. So when you look at the files, all the files that have this icon, you see this delete, and you also see an arrow, an up arrow in it. So this is a deleted file. So this icon here tells you that you can undelete it. All right, so for this situation, the file has not been deleted permanently, it's still there. So just like if you're using a Windows system and then you click on send to recycle bin. All right, it's in the recycle bin, but it still takes a quota of your decks. So you can still undelete it by clicking and it will be reversed. And then that particular delete icon is gone. So that means all the files are now active. But if you want to permanently delete it, I repeat, if you want to permanently delete it, there's an extra step you have to follow. All right, so let's take a look at the permanent deletion. I mean, you can do a permanent deletion of the active files or even the deleted files. So I'll just do a demonstration of this one first. So if you want to permanently delete in your history, the history that have the files of interest, just check this box here. Look at this box here. So there's a checkbox. So look at where it is. So it says select items. So first click it. And when you click it, you have these checkboxes. So one for each data. So you can select the files that you want or the data that you want to delete. Let's just say I want to delete this and this, this and then this. I can select them. So when I come here, I see two of 13 selected. All right, so when I come here, this particular box here, I'll just click it and then I'll scroll down, I'll see delete, I'll see delete permanently. So since I want to remove them permanently, I'll have to click this one, delete permanently. All right, so I can click it and then I'll be given a warning. And then this warning, I can just click OK and it will be deleted. Of course, it will take some time, it will be gone. All right, so you can also do for the others. Now, let's just say you want to remove all the files. All right, that's how we do it. I'll just show you as well. So, still come here. Okay, and then if you want to delete all the files, you can come to select all like right, this select all and when you click on select all then what do you do you still have all of them highlighted and then you can click on this and you can come to delete permanently but let me warn you that the delay permanently it's that means permanent so you may have challenges recovering them so you need to make sure that you know what you are doing all right so just take care of that 
So when I come here, delete permanently, you click it, and then there's a warning when you click it to be gone. But before we even do that, you can also check the quota now. Let me just go back. So the quota is 20%, right? I'm using 20%. Now let's permanently delete it. Delete permanently. So click and then click on OK. So when you click on OK, of course, the processing will be done. All right. So once it's done, the files will be deleted. All right. So let me also say that when it's deleted, you'll find this label patched. That means it's gone. All right. And because it's gone, it has been taken from the disk. You will see 18% here. I mean, mine has been reduced because the files were heavy. You could have even checked the size from this side, but we didn't do that anyway. So now it's zero bytes because there's nothing in this history. So they are paid, they are gone. All right, so that's how we remove files permanently. But again, you should be careful when removing the files because you, you, you have to make sure that you know what you are doing basically. So once it's done, if you also want to remove the history, and come to this side history options you can go to delete history click on it and then you can move the history so that means everything is gone all right so this is how we remove files or let me just say permanently remove or delete files or data from the galaxy platform right. in addition to what i have shown you you can also find some useful information from this tutorial this tutorial shows you how to download and delete data in galaxy so check this tutorial out the link to this page it's also in the description box. Now, if you are looking for more Galaxy tutorials for bioinformatics, then I will encourage you to check this playlist right here.